Hello viewers, today we shall discuss types of parking systems and there are two systems of parking of a vehicle, one is on street parking, other is off street parking. In the case of on street parking, the vehicles are parked on the side of the street and this will be usually controlled by civic agency, some government agency. Common types of on street parkings are, it can be a parallel type parking where we park the vehicle, now this is the curb line and we park the vehicles parallel to the movement of the traffic. This is the parallel parking. Advantage is that it occupies minimum width here. This is 2.5 meter and this is 5 meter, a slot of 5 meter by 2.5 meter is sufficient to park a car and this distance between two cars is 0 0.9 meter. So the space required for parking of a vehicle or the length required along the curb line for parking a car is 5.9 meter and therefore you can park number of cars in a length L along the traffic movement L upon 5.9. This is parallel parking. Parking can be done at angle also and this angle can be varied 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree or it can be perpendicular to the curb line. So in case of angle parking, the vehicles are parked at an angle with the curb line. Now this is the curb line, a vehicle is parked at let us say 30 degree. This is 30 degree angle. Another vehicle will be here at 30 degree. This is 30 degree. Now this is 2.5 meter. I told you this is 2.5 meter. This is 30 degree and therefore this distance here will be 2.5 upon sine 30 that is 5 meter. And this extra distance here for the parking of the first vehicle let us say this is again 2.5 meter, this is now 60, so this will be 1.25 meter. And therefore, number of vehicles or number of cars that can be parked in a length L will now be L minus 1.25 divided by 5. So this is loss in the first slot and then for each subsequent car you need 5 meter length along the curb and this is the number of cars. If this angle is 45 degree, then this will slightly steeper. Now this is at 45 degree, at 45 degree and you can have another car here at 45 degree. The dimensions remain same. 2.5, this is 5 meter and therefore this distance is now 2.5 upon sine 45. So if this angle is let us say theta from the curb and vehicles are parked at this angle, then the general formula will be, now this is angle theta. This is 2.5 meter, this is 5 meter and let us say this distance is x and this distance here for the first car is let us say x1, then in that case this will be L minus 2.5 sin theta divided by 2.5 cosec theta. This is the number of cars 
you can park in a curb length of L meter. Now let us see how the number of cars will change because when you are moving from a parallel parking to angle parking number of cars that can be parked in the same length will be higher but they will require more width on the curb line along the road and also the maneuver parking in and parking out maneuver will be difficult so if let us say this length of the curb is 590 meter let us assume how the number of cars will change when you are parking parallel to curb or at angle so in that case theta if theta is 0 means parallel parking then this n will be l upon 5.900 if it is 30 degree parking then this will be l minus 2.5 sin 30 divided by 2.5 cosec 30 this will be 117 if it is 45 degree then it will be 166 if 60 degree it will be 203 if it is 90 degree perpendicular like this perpendicular to curve line so you need only 2.5 meter so it will be l upon 2.5 that is 236 meet number of cars which can be parked in the length of 590 meter but at the same time if you see the width required to park a vehicle in parallel parking system and perpendicular parking system they are different extra width which is basically engaged by the parking with respect to parallel parking in case of 30 degree angle parking this will be the extra width this will be the extra width it is equal to 2.5 sin 30 so extra width here will be required 1.25 meter next 1.77 2.16 and 2.5 so this is the advantage and disadvantage of having a parallel parking at angle parking now, this 90 degree car parking system although it occupies less than uh, less width along the curb line but it takes more width of the road or you can say more width of the curb and therefore it will cause more hindrance to the moving traffic and moreover while taking out this car from the parking lot it will require reverse movement and that can create a safety condition safety problem and therefore what is suggested is that this right angle parking or perpendicular parking should be taken up only when the road width is more than 20 meter although on street parking is not a very healthy practice but it is almost inevitable and in all major cities on street parking is permitted but these parking will create unsafe conditions for pedestrians for traffic movement as well as the capacity of the road is also reduced and to minimize these ill effects of on street parking certain guidelines are given that the on street parking should be prohibited near intersections the reason is that if you permit a parked vehicle here let us say this is a stop line and this is the parked vehicle it will basically obstruct the entire lane and the vehicle will be forced to change their path while reaching the stop line that will reduce the capacity of the intersection and therefore it is suggested that no parking should be permitted within 50 meter distance from the stop line so this distance of a parked vehicle from stop line should at least be 50 meter to have the minimum effect on the capacity of the intersection second is narrow streets because the on street parking consumes some space of the street and therefore if the street is already narrow it will create problem of safety 
and it is suggested that in the case of two way street of less than 5.75 meter and in the case of one way street with the width of less than 4.0 meter no on street parking should be permitted the third location where parking is prohibited is pedestrian crossing now this is also because pedestrians are most affected by parking now this is a pedestrian crossing at mid block section now if a vehicle is parked here let us say a vehicle is parked here and here is a pedestrian which is basically waiting for a gap to cross the street it this parked vehicle will obstruct the view of the pedestrian and therefore the pedestrian safety will be compromised. Due to this reason, it is suggested that the parked vehicle should not be closer than 8 meter from the pedestrian crossing. So, 8 meter is the minimum distance from the pedestrian crossing for a parked vehicle. And finally, is the parking on street parking should not be permitted on structures like bridges, in tunnels, on flyovers underpasses because they are already narrow structures and parking condition there will make unsafe movement. The second type of parking system is off street parking. Now in this case in urban area some space is exclusively allotted for parking and which is at some distance from the CBD area or from the main stream of traffic and such a parking is called off street parking. And here also there can be different systems of parking. It can be a surface car park system. It can be multi-story car park system or roof parking, mechanical parking, rotary parking and underground parking. These are different systems of off-street parking. And all these facilities are capital intensive and therefore they should be planned very carefully and the prime consideration should be closeness to the place of use by the customer means the parking area should not be very far away from the business center now in case of surface car parking system a area is allocated and this in this area parking is allowed generally they are paid parking and parking is allowed in this area and here also there can be different systems of car parking. It can be like this that all cars are parked perpendicular manner and then another row here of car parking. So you have like this another can be it all depends upon that uh, parking demand and it can be another one here this is just one layout the planners can draw different layouts of surface car parking system only point is that this base size is 2.5 meter by 5 meter and you need a clear spacing between two rows that is 6.25 meter for circulation of the car. So, 5 meter plus 6.25 meter plus 5 meter again plus 6.5 meter plus 5 meter that makes basically 27.5 meter. 27.5 meters. You can have three columns of or three rows of car parking and if this is also let us say 27.5 now you can park here 27.5 divided by 2.5 that is 11 cars so 11 cars 11 cars 11 car 33 cars can be parked in a plot size of 27.5 meter by 27.5 meter but you can have different layouts and optimize the space a variety of layouts are possible. It can be free or it can be charged also. It can be a angle parking like this. 
it can be planned in any manner but circulating space must be ensured or that is how it looks like the second one is multi story car parking a stacked car park that has multiple stories and it may be enclosed and can be an independent building also vehicles flow between floors by means of ramps it can be interior ramp or exterior ramps and these are designed for a capacity of 400 to 500 cars generally five floors is the upper limit otherwise the parking and unparking timings becomes very long this is how it is done so you provide ramps here and these ramps can be inside the building or can be outside the building also all floors can be enclosed and covered also the important design standards for these car parkings gradient for ramps should be 1 is to 10 and in no case is steeper than 1 in 8 and that too for a short ramp clear height between the floor is to be kept 2.1 meter stall dimension is standard as i told you 2.5 to 5 meter inside radius of the curb is 7 meter and width of the traffic lane on ramps and entrance is 3.75 meter and the movement on these ramps is one way now this is multi level parking at delhi airport it can accommodate almost 4300 cars at a time supposed to be the largest parking in the country mechanical parking mechanical parking is similar to multi level parking here the cars are taken from one floor to another floor through lift rather than providing ramps and that is how it finally looks that is how cars are stacked at different levels this is the mechanical parking in sarojinagar new delhi the system can be designed for any number of cars but the power requirement will certainly change as the number of floors increases the new innovation in mechanical car parking is robotic parking where parking is done by robots replacing the drivers next is roof top car parking now here the vehicles are parked on the roof of a building for more space roofs of adjacent buildings can be joined this is an expensive system because you need to provide ramps and design the roof for the car load then we have rotary car parking this system is designed to park up to a maximum of 16 cars easily and safely on the surface of two car space area rotary car parking system basically works with the help of these pallets the working mechanism of a rotary car parking system involves several steps for entry users will interact with the system through a ticket dispenser or payment terminal sensors determine the vehicle size and allocate a parking slot on the rotating platform the circular pattern turns to align the chosen slot with the entrance and then users follow prompts to park in the available space on the rotating platform the platform locks securely for stability and when you want to take your car out then system identifies the vehicle's location and rotates the platform for retrieval and then users will drive out completing the automated parking process a rotating parking system circulates pallets vertically in which the cars are taken up and down by big chains so this is very space efficient system of car parking and the last is underground parking it makes much more land available for non parking usage on surface it offers easier access control to help reduce crime due to parking structure parking cars are unseen no obstruction of views or sunlight underground parking is more expensive than at grid parking and there are several examples now in the country where this underground car parking system has been provided so friends thank you very much for watching this video you can write your suggestions in the comment box